hundred years ago, the world's best scientific minds thought that, the universe had always existed. Since it always existed, it didn't need a creator. Einstein changed all that. His field equations suggested that, the universe was expanding like a balloon. The mathematician and Belgian priest, George Lemaitre, realized that, this expansion had to have started from somewhere. It must have come from an initial, dense point. This idea became known as the Big Bang. Today, it is the basis for understanding the origin of the universe. What few people know however is that, the Holy Quran described the Big Bang perfectly, 1400 years earlier. Allah mentioned in the Quran, do not the disbelievers see that, the heavens and the earth were a closed up mass, Ratkn, then we opened them out? And we made from water every living thing, will they not then believe? The Arabic word Ratkn means a closed up mass, it also means darkness, a dark, closed up mass is a perfect description of what we know. The universe looked like in its earliest moments. The heavens and the earth were indeed opened out from this mass to produce the universe we see today. The verse further says that, water is the basis of life. This is now an accepted scientific fact. When NASA look for planets that can bear life, they look for water. The shocking power of this verse is a grand sign, for our disbelieving age. However, Einstein's discovery about expanding of the universe surprised everyone. Because, for decades thereafter, scientists thought, the universe exploded out of the Big Bang, and has been slowing down ever since, but they were wrong. The universe's expansion has recently been speeding up. The Holy Quran describes this perfectly. And, we have built the heaven with might, and we continue to expand it indeed. Remember the day when we shall roll up the heavens, like the rolling up of written scrolls by a scribe. As we began the first creation, so shall we repeat it our promise binding upon us, we shall certainly perform it. This vivid description of the Quran, completely fits the picture of the universe collapsing into a black hole. Angular momentum would cause the fabric of space to enter into it, like the rolls of parchment, then, a new universe would emerge. It is only a matter of time until this shocking fate of the universe is confirmed to be the most likely by physicists. In 1960, Frank Drake, performed the first modern SETI experiment, in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Yet, Allah's pronouncements, outpaced man's imagination, by more than a millennium. And, among his signs, is the creation of the heavens and the earth, and of whatever living creatures, he has spread forth in both, and he has the power to gather them together, when he will so please. In this verse, the Quran speaks of living creatures, which inhabit space, the heavens, and which move on land. Mankind will one day come into contact with these creatures in some way. These declarations of the Quran, constitute evidence for its divine origin, for which man of that age, could not only envisage the existence of aliens, on far away planets, but proclaim future contact with them? One hopes the day will come soon when this extraordinary prophecy finds its fulfillment.